Hello my friends, what's up? The Dutchman, Ruben Buys here. Glad you could make it. It's time to return to Blue Oyster Cult, a legendary band, which I know... I must admit, don't know much by them. I know that they've been around for, uh, they've been around for a long time. Legendary band for sure, but never delve into the music. This track is called Astronomy. Suggested by one of my patrons, Thomas Jonge. As I am uh, talking about this, didn't Metallica cover this song, Astronomy? Oh my god, this, this is a sudden revelation I have right now. It was on Garage Inc., but I have listened to that album in like maybe 20 years or something. Is that album that old? Uh, was my, I never dove into that album of Metallica because of their, uh, because of their old covers. But now that I think about it, I think Metallica covered this one. If they have, I haven't listened to this one in certainly 15 years, so I don't think I can remember this one. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Astronomy live at Columbus Municipal Auditorium. 1978. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Would be funny if Metallica there was another track called Astronomy. I'm sure Metallica did a cover called Astronomy, but I'm not sure if it is one. I'll have to look it up. For one of my favorite band, uh, bands, Ghost. So I really should listen more to them, I think. Some really some class 
bass guitar playing. They don't make them like they used to. Now I really have to know that song on Garage Inc. Was that Metallica? I would have, I should have done my homework, but Metallica Astronomy. Yes, it. Uh... Oh wow. Damn, I really have to listen to the Metallica cover. Uh, but I have to give, of course, now credit where credit is due for, uh, to, uh, blow, to Blue Oyster Cult. Wow, what a, what a guitar playing. That harmony was absolutely fantastic. 
And again, uh, Ghost is one of my favorite bands and I look up to Blue Rose Cult as one of their big inspirations. Some say when you should listen to Ghost at all, Blue Oyster is where, <laughs> is where uh, it's uh, at. Maybe they're right. So they really got uh, no, they, they a uh, lot of uh, albums. We have quality music like this, but that guitar playing really, that you know, that 70s, 80s uh, sound, that guitar solo that never stops, that has, had, and get, and has a life of, of its own during uh, the song. It really takes over the entire track in a very good way. And then for minutes you just got the guitar playing, let the, the music does the, the does the talking, you know, it goes on for really a couple of minutes, and the guitar playing is knocking out of the park with uh, this one. I've been dealing with some comments about this live album, I, I, I heard it's absolutely phenomenal, one of the best live albums uh, there are. The best live album there is, <laughs> there are. Yeah, blown away. And now I got to listen to the Metallica version of Absolutely. Absolutely got to listen to uh, that one. But, you know, Garage Inc. with uh, Metallica with a lot of covers. I prefer, you know, their, their own original music. But should be ashamed of myself that I did. Uh, I think I've listened to this one, but it's so many years ago. I can't remember. Got some homework now, right now. Thomas Jonge, thanks so much. You said it was uh, it was amazing, and you are absolutely right. They make like make they don't make them like they used to. And we should tell. I've listened to Blue Oyster Cult more because they're, they're such a legendary band. And don't know. I never give them uh, more uh, more of a chance. But hey, better late than never. Tell me what you think, uh, my friends. I absolutely love this one. Let me know. Hope you guys uh, are doing okay. A lot of summer uh, festivals. Life is good. Appreciate. Uh, we have to appreciate it these times. Let me know what you think. You guys are the best. See you soon.